Nick Foles took over and was given the task of leading the Eagles into the postseason. Um, prepare every day, uh, work every day, so I'm ready to go, need be. You look at the list of backups, he stacks up pretty well compared to other teams' backups. That's something I'm not yet certain about. It's a 78 quarterback rating. It's six and a half yards per attempt. It's very typical NFL backup. Four yards and a touchdown. And Nick Foles told us, he said, early in this game, I want to be able to take my shot. And there goes his big guy. As we have seen, these Philadelphia Eagles have a way of playing above the rim. You watch these receivers come on the field, you think you're getting ready to watch an NBA game. They go up, box out, rebound, and they've been putting points on the board with that formula all season long. Philly, Philly. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Philly special. Ready? Fourth and goal. Oh, and they're going to snap it, and it's Trey Burton who throws caught. Foles, touchdown. They go to the very, very, very back of the playbook. This play call has a chance to be remembered as one of the all-time greats. For the remainder of the game, Foles continued to deliver. For the first time ever, the Philadelphia Eagles were Super Bowl champions. Super Bowl MVP, Nick Foles. And to be here with my daughter, my wife, my family, my teammates, this city, we're very blessed. I'm sorry, Charlie, I don't buy this competition thing not shooting down our reporters here. You don't trade for Nick Foles and tell him stand there and watch Mitch Trubisky. Baldy, right? No, uh, I mean, I'm sure there'll be some competition, but, I mean, you're talking about a Super Bowl MVP versus a guy that looks like he's just struggling to stay in the lineup right now. Uh, look, I mean, I think Ryan Pace and Matt Nagy, the last time they saw Nick Foles in Chicago, he was beating them in a playoff game in January. And so that kind of gave... in was part of the reason why Jacksonville gave Nick Foles a big contract. I can't believe they're cutting their losses already and that Gardner Minshew, in essence, has beaten them out. But I think if you give Nick Foles the defense that the Bears have and, you know, a creative mind in Matt Nagy that Nick Foles will welcome that over a crumbling organization or structure right now that it looks like they have in Jacksonville. I think just, he'll welcome his trade and welcome any competition. Uh, in Chicago at this point. If I'm running it, Trubisky lines up first, Foles lines up second. Man, let's go play the game and see who our best player is. And that's what you want. Play your best player and win the game. I know that sounds stupid, but that's kind of what you're going to do. Right now, Trubisky is not playing well. We know that. But Nick Foles didn't play that well last year. And he has never played well over a long period of time when he's given it. So, to me, it's competition. Best man wins. Let's hope, for, let's hope they get better at quarterback, but they got to get better around it. Third down at eight. Trubisky's pass is picked off. Bleeding Ray Wilson comes up with the interception for... You see the Bears taking over with Nick Foles at the helm. But Trubisky looked uncomfortable sitting in the pocket. On the 17-yard line. As Foles fires and diving to make the catch is Anthony Miller. Balls on third down to the end zone. It is Graham again. Same spot as back in the second quarter. His second touchdown today. It's a two-score game. Second and six. Catch is made by Robinson, and then he breaks free. Allen Robinson takes it all the way for a Bears touchdown. Let's see how that looks. Third down and eight. With the Bears already in field goal range, the pass is caught in the end zone for a touchdown by Anthony Miller. The Chicago Bears take the lead with a minute 53 seconds you remaining. You can have one-offs and have great games in the fourth quarter where you throw three touchdowns, but are you consistently feeling great about Mitchell Trubisky being the starter for the Chicago Bears? You are lying to yourself and everybody else. If you believe the answer to that question is yes. So, listen, the Chicago Bears knew who Mitchell Trubisky was. They wanted to give their first-round guy uh, one more shot 
like the Titans did Marcus Mariota, and inevitably this would what this is what was going to happen. It's Nick Foles' job going forward, and they hope that he can uh, take them where they Gaziano need to go. Is not convinced that this move is permanent. Tell everybody what it is you said to me before. There's nothing in Foles' history that that indicates he can start the remaining 13 games without incident. He's had injuries. He's been benched for guys like Case Keenum uh, in the past. He was benched for Trubisky a month ago. So look, this isn't over. I believe Trubisky will start more games for the Bears this season. It's all about Foles' history and who he's shown us he is. And I, honestly, like, I, I, everybody wants to say it's, it's the rest of the year and this is all set. It's Nick Foles. If Nick Foles starts all 13 remaining games for the Bears this year, I will wear a Bear costume on this show on live television. I promise you that. You can hold me to it. If he starts 13 more games this year... Foles under pressure, going to be taken down. Foles looking back of the end zone, and it's intercepted. Troy Hill tipped the ball, and Taylor Rapp on the interception. Worst possible scenario for the Bears. Foles under some pressure, not going to get out of there. Drop back of the 12-yard line. Justin Hollins ends that series. Pressure. Foles throwing, and it's intercepted. Third and ten. Nothing doing. Foles will be dropped again. Second down and ten, and Foles is going to get sacked. Laying what? there for the last two plays. Here's a third down and nine. Foles just happy to hang on to the ball. From the 21 now. Foles is going to be picked. Intercepted by Lattimore. Foles is going to be sacked. Second down and 10. Foles has an excellent pocket to work with. It is tipped, juggled, and intercepted. Harrison Smith. Everybody up along the line of scrimmage. Pressure. Foles lofts one and just beyond the outstretch. A lot of congestion in the pocket there. Foles just trying to get rid of it and nearly threw it right to the Vikings. It'll go as an incomplete pass. Jalen Holmes had his hand on it. You see Foles down on his back. Oh, man. Appearing to be in a lot of pain. Foles hung on to that for the absolute last second he could. I mean, he's standing in there trying to find somebody down the field. You can't see anywhere. And as he tries to get rid of this ball, he's in an awkward position, and then he's thrown down. Looks like he something going on with his back. Yeah, get slammed down on his right side. He was grabbing, like, low, low back on his right side. Looks like what he was... He got thrown down hard. Listen, it's been a tough year for Nick Foles and, and this offense and the Bears. There's no question about it, but uh, he is a competitor, and he's got a positive attitude when you talk to him. He just wants to stay positive and find a way to help this team win, and we hope that he's all right. Nick Foles, he... He talked about all the challenges he has had in his career, and he said this is among the toughest. Everything they've had to deal with here in Chicago this season, trying to figure things out. Bears need that bye next week. Need the breather. Need a break. Back in Chicago, these are live pictures. Nick Foles about to be carted off the field. Incredible outpouring of support. All the Vikings came over. He's so beloved in the league. He's been in so many different places. Forever a hero in Philadelphia, where he won the Eagles the Super Bowl. And there you see Odenabo throwing falls down to the turf. He, he gets slammed hard on that right side, lower back, upper hip area. Well, he's, he's uh, as you mentioned, this team loves Nick Foles. Yeah. And, uh, and Mitchell Trubisky, probably the first one, he came out there and and said, uh, hope you're doing all right. The way that he handled that situation coming in in the offseason, uh, the first guy he called was Mitchell Trubisky uh, to talk about uh, the kind of relationship that they were going to have, and, and Mitchell respected that from day one. But uh, Nick Foles is, is beloved, not only here in 
uh, in this team, but as you mentioned, across the And he's been at his best under the lights. He's a perfect 3-0 in primetime this season with 11 touchdowns and zero interceptions. As for the Bears, Mitchell Trubisky will make his first start since week three, trying to get Chicago back in the win column. They've lost four straight games after starting 5-1 and one this season. Here's the head coach, Matt Nagy, on the change at quarterback. I have all the confidence in the world in him, and I think that the word growth for him and being able to, to step back from everything, but there's just, I feel like there's a different focus and a different attitude, a different mindset. And for me as a coach, being able to see the significance of that, you appreciate that. Well, so we're dealing with a Nick Foles injury, hip injury after that last game. You hear Matt Nagy say right there, he's got all the confidence in the world. Rex, you look like you're going to explode. Just go. <laughs> oh, my goodness. It is so funny. He's trying to sell that. I mean, sell that to somebody else, man. There, there's no way we're buying it. I mean, look, he shouldn't have benched Trubisky when he did. Two months ago, I told you exactly what was going to happen. And, and it's nothing against Nick Foles. I, I like him. I think he's a great backup, but he's not a starting quarterback. And I also mentioned that he's, he doesn't have the durability of a starting quarterback, and they're eventually going to have to go back to Trubisky, and this is what we're seeing. But that offensive line is so pathetic. I mean, it doesn't matter who you got back there, Jim McMahon or whoever. They can't run the football. And it just, to me, you know, but, but this thing is so phony right there when he came back. He should have just said, look, I got to play Mitchell Trubisky <laughs> again. Say like, that. Just, just say that. Who cares? It, it, it'll fly better in Chicago than, than this. You know, when I, when I look at this Bears team, it's like they're missing something. And when I look on the defensive side, the defense is missing something from the offense. And that's the offense to be able to extend the plays. Nick Foles, Rex, I should have listened to you, and I didn't want to listen to you because I thought Nick Foles was the Super Bowl uh, winning quarterback. But athletically, I think Mitchell Trubisky is a better fit at the quarterback position. I just talked about the defense. I've seen guys, Khalil Mack, Hakeem Nix, I've seen them walking off the field, winded. Why? Because of all the snaps that they had to play. Three and outs on the offensive side. What Mitchell Trubisky brings to the, to the table offensively for the Chicago Bears is the, the yards that me and Matt Hasselbeck always talks about each and every week, being able to steal yards. There's been times that I've seen Nick Foles at the quarterback position outside of the pocket, didn't, wasn't able to steal yards. Six Sorry. different starting groups for the Bears in 11 games, and they opened a big hole for Montgomery. A foot race through the secondary. Montgomery all the way down to the eight-yard line. Sure. This is the group they want to see play better at home. Trubisky rips it in the middle, caught at the 48-yard line by Rob. Now it's third and 17. So the big rush from Gary. Trubisky lost the ball. It's scooped by Preston Smith, who takes it in for the Green Bay defensive touchdown. Trubisky. He is elusive and gets on the move here. And that's something the Packers were worried about with him. I think it's 2017. Pack bring five. Trubisky fires. Did Mooney hang on to that? He sure did. Gain of 12 so far. Four of six throwing. Deep drop here. Looking downfield. Aggressive call. And a shot into double coverage is intercepted. They tried to stay aggressive, trying to go deep, and Darnell Savage there for the interception. Trubisky looking for something deep. It's covered. Comes back underneath. It's Mooney one more time. And for the 16. That's Montgomery quickly. Good job to make a man miss. It was Raven Green who didn't come up with a tackle, and Montgomery takes it down to the two-yard line. Trubisky fakes on throws for the touchdown. Allen Robinson, good play design there, and the Bears get into the end zone for the first time. When Gus comes through, third and 11. Pack bringing five. Trubisky taking it deep into a lot of coverage. It is intercepted. Darnell Savage was touched. So down by contact back at the 47 yard line. Fourth and 11 hitting that way. The other receiver in the slot there is Anthony Miller. He's got it, and it's a first down. Drafted tight end with a G. Start of his last name. 
That's caught to the five yard line by Graham. It'll set up first and goal for the Bears. Trubisky to the middle of the field for the touchdown for Allen Robinson. Six pack bringing four shot in the middle of the field. He's brought in. Let's see where Robinson's forward progress is marked. He'll give his first. And the guy from the Chicago land area. Trubisky's throw is complete as Riley Ridley. Had to continue. Trubisky bobbles the snap, gets it back. Montgomery over the middle. The number one seed. No doubt, second and ten. The 20 Trubisky's pass is complete. It's Robinson again. Four to the top. They'll go to that bunch and see if they can block for Montgomery. And they can. David Montgomery has a receiving touchdown for the second time. Patterson was the motion man. Trubisky put it up, and it's a two-point conversion with Darnell Moody.